America. A proud land spanning from sea to shining sea. Home to bustling innovative cities. Soaring national parks. A people born of revolution, revolution. and spirited independence. independence. The birthplace of the glory of the open road. The open road. Craigslist. Craigslist and Finger, Tennessee. Hello and welcome back to the adventures of a British woman with a questionable search history on the internet. I woke up recently expecting my beloved two viewers to be keeping my tiny channel afloat, but found my viewership graph in competition with the world's billionaires to make it space. Turns out it was my video on the town of Finger, Tennessee, home to a money laundering church, allegedly money laundering church and more sheds per capita than anywhere else in the world. Finger and McNary County are also home, I must say, to some very fine and good-humoured folks. Thank you to all who laughed along, shared info nuggets about your hometown, and kind words that plastered a smile on my face for the last couple of days like a drunken idiot. Many cheers to you all. If you're new here, I make some videos on strangely named towns. As you could probably tell, Finger was definitely one. I'm gonna drop the link to that video right up here in the right hand corner if you'd like to get up to speed. But for the rest of us, let's go ahead and have a second cheeky poke around Finger. You're pronouncing Finger wrong, it's Fanger. Have to get the accent right. It's a little bit of a Tennessee twang, I guess. Or a French fangueur. I will try to remember that it's fanger and not finger. Nine months ago, Flatterwatt exclaimed that they really wanted to go catch dinner with the Plonks, a family with an extensive website they'd made on their own family history. Good news, Flatterwatt, because Beth Plunk has showed up in the comments section as the Plunks are her in-laws. Unfortunately, to this day, the Finger Tennessee section of their website is still under construction, but there are some scans of documents. And oh my god, I've just realised that there's Sweet Lips Creek nearby and Huggins Creek. I mean, when you've got the triangle of Finger finger, sweet lips, and huggins. It is bound to be a good time. We did spend some time at the Finger Church of Christ. Do know that I found on the Plunk family website that there was also once a Plunk Church of Christ, which also brings me a lot of joy. It's really a winner. Oh, there's a black square here. What is that? Oh, secret text. Plunk and Plunk family. Well, that's not so surprising, I guess. Tyler's pretty sure the mayor does taxidermy and gives us a business. So let's do some investigations on that one. Heathcox taxidermy in Finger, Tennessee. Oh my God, please tell me it's owned by the mayor. Actually, who is the mayor of Finger? Finger, Tennessee mayor. Oh, <gasps> Robert Heathcock. He really is a taxidermist. I'm lost for words. Thank you for choosing us for your mounts. Heathcock's an appropriate place for mounts. In finger, oh baby. I love that the open mouth is only available for predators. <laughs> Anything smaller than a coyote can go f itself apparently. Oh no, wait, deer can also have an open mouth for an additional $50, good to know. <laughs> This little bobcat looks thrilled to be taxidermied. Getting my mind right, he is in his Dale's Tackle shirt. Are you the Mayor of Finger? Mysterious Mr. Heathcock. Yes, he's not one to post photos of himself. Oh, here we go. It is, it's Robert Heathcock. He's also a patrolman in the police department? How many jobs does he have? We need to verify that it is in fact this person. This is for the city of Finger in McNary County. Sorry, Fanger. Oh my God, I've forgotten the pronunciation already. And the mayor is in fact a Mr. Robert Heathcock. But could there be two Robert Heathcocks? Oh, but there's a phone number. 731-610-2626. This is a man of many talents and many jobs. How does he find time for it all? Hang on, I do want to see the mayor's office. Apparently we are looking right at the mayor's office, but I just see an empty lot. There is a building there. So the mayor is a patrolman and a taxidermist who works out of the 
fire department. I am lost. Finger, you are full of mysteries. You know what I want to do quickly? I want to check on the, um, the Finger Church of Christ. I want to see if Rose Martin is still rating this place for money laundering. There she is. <laughs> Response from the owner. <laughs> Would you please remove your comment that the Finger Church of Christ is a front for money laundering? <laughs> Rose is staying the course. She is standing by her original statement because that was that was five months ago that the owner of the church made this request. Two people have given it a thumbs up. I don't know if that's in agreement or amusement, but there's there's two thumbs up. Well, if the owner was active five months ago, have they updated their website? Last time we checked it, loaded this, and then we hit contact us. Oh, there's a contact form now. I love how the default is. I was wondering about availability and rates. I need help with the following. There we go. <laughs> I think that will do. Heathcock's taxidermy really led us down a rabbit hole. Love them sheds for sure. Damn right. Speaking of sheds, Amber came in with the goods. I'm particularly thrilled that you let us know what you put in your sheds. I do love that everything is plural. Not just the three sheds, but you know, like a standard person would just maybe have one lawnmower, one tractor. No, it's lawnmowers and tractors, but apparently the rat rods are huge, which probably explains that $2,000 rust bucket we found on Craigslist. We also remarked last time we were browsing through Finger that there were a lot of nice cars. So there seems to be a bit of car culture. She also says that most people have jobs in the surrounding area, Finger, so people do pretty well in Finger with the low cost of living, which makes sense. Even her grandfather worked for NASA in the 60s and worked on all of the Apollo missions. I am sure there are plenty of other Finger people, fingers. Fingerinos, fingerites, fingerlings. Fingerlings, you know what? Here's your demonym. Since nobody came back with a demonym for people in finger, y'all are gonna be fingerlings. Tell you why. Fingerlings, number one, they're a very tasty potato. Now, the potato is humble, much like finger, small town, you know, but fingerlings pack a lot of flavor. And you know what? So does finger Tennessee. Finger Tennessee is hiding a lot of exciting things. And as a bonus good reason, fun fact, in Norway, calling someone a potato is actually a compliment because it means you're good for a lot of things. So fingerlings, you are. She also says that there are movies and TV shows about Buford Pusser, who was a sheriff whose name I found extremely appropriate. And apparently he has a museum in Adamsville, Tennessee. It contains all the original furnishings, photos, cars, guns, and memorabilia of the Pusser family. He was known for his virtual one-man war on moonshining, prostitution, gambling, and other vices along the Mississippi-Tennessee state line. He was also a wrestler known as Buford the Bull. If you're from Finger, it's not enough to be just a sheriff and a wrestler. It's not enough to be a mayor and a taxidermist. You need a third thing. For the mayor and taxidermist, he's also a patrolman. In the case of Buford, he was also a recording artist with It Happened in Tennessee. How do these people find the time? He died kind of tragically at the age of 36 in a car accident. In his specially modified Corvette, the car culture's big, man. That is why everybody has a sick whip. Back to the museum. There's a shop. Oh, do you kind of want a mug? Not gonna lie. The mug or the badge? The badge is pretty legit. Ooh, there are more accessories. A thimble. <laughs> You can get a Buford Pusser thimble. I would love to know how many Buford Pusser thimbles they've sold. Grannies sewing across Tennessee must be fully equipped with the Buford Pusser thimble. Check out the history on Fielding Hurst in Purdy. There's even a haunted mansion. There is no amount of money you could pay me to enter this building. What actually happened there? Oh my God, are there enough ads? Okay, close. Close. It, they're opening in little windows down here. Every time I close them. Oh my God, the internet is so rude sometimes. For out of the nation comes a sickness and curse. God save us all from the demon called Hurst. He was reputed to be less of a soldier and more of a murder. A murder? He was a murder. The property is currently privately owned, but you can view the site from outside. Who owns, th who owns this? <laughs> well, I think we take one quick gander at the finger Craigslist just for old time's sake. Okay, let's check out 
for sale. We're in five miles of finger zip code. Only the finger Craigslist is somebody selling a thousand dollar two person sauna. I swear to God, this place is hiding serious money. Finger Church of Christ, I'm on to you. Tragically, someone is also selling a wedding ring for free, but then I think they realized they made a mistake, so they posted it again for five thousand dollars. <laughs> but technically somebody can have a bargain. Okay, I've zoomed out to 10 miles. Oh, it's a cottage shed. $15,000 for a shed? It really is shed country, man. Bet you they're gonna describe it like it's a house. Cottage like this makes a cute tiny house or getaway cabin. Thank you. This is not a shed. Well, between the Buford Pusser Museum and the owner of the Finger Church of Christ asking Rose Martin to please remove her review accusing them of money laundering to the taxidermist mayor. I don't know what's my favorite thing. It's just all too good. So thanks for joining me on this return to Finger. If you like this video, please don't forget to drop a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks to everybody who chimed in and I will catch you all soon in the next one. Bye.